Assalamu alaikum and welcome everyone chapter 47 of the Arduino series in this video we're going to be tackling the SSD 1306 OLED display which has the resolution of 128 by 32 pixels of length of 0.91 inches there is also another SSD 1306 variant that has the resolution of 128 by 64 pixels but we will not be using that one and before we continue to the components just a reminder don't forget to like and subscribe if you benefited from the video. For this tutorial, you're going to need four male-to-male -male jumper wires, the Arduino, the breadboard, and the display itself. I'm going to go ahead and connect the ground pin to the ground pin in the Arduino, the VCC to the five volts. I'm going to connect the SDA and the SCL pins in the display to the dedicated pins in the Uno. However, if your particular Arduino Uno is missing this, then the SDA will be A4 and the SCL will be A5 in the analog input pins. Since this component has an I2C module, we will be using serial communication, hence the connection of the SDA and SCL pins. We will be utilizing a library called the U8G2 library. Now, in order to download it, go to Sketch, go to Include Library, Manage Libraries, wait for the tab to open. Then in the search bar, you want to type in U8G2, and then you want to scroll down until you find the one that says by Oliver and install the latest version. And since we will also be using serial communication, you also want to include the wire library. Firstly, we must initialize the library through a command. In order to obtain the command, you want to go through file, examples, scroll down to U8G2, then press on full buffer, then on font usage. In this new file, you want to press in control F in order to use the find service, then type in in the find column SSD1306 underscore 128x32. Then when pressing so, you want to find the one that has the clock as SCL and the data as SDA. Then you want to copy it and paste it in our file and then uncomment it. For the integers x1, x3, x2 and x4, they will be dedicated to the appropriate text as I commented. And will be used to fix the x coordinates of the texts. In our void setup, we will initialize the serial monitor and the UAG2 library through the command serial.begin with a board rate of 9600 and UAG2.begin. In the void loop, we have the first command to be UAG2.clear buffer. This command ensures that the new frame will have the new text without the previous text in the previous frame present. The two following commands UAG2.set font mode 1 and UAG2.set bitmap mode 1 are two commands that allow to have the same settings as you see. However, if you wish to alter and play around with it, I will have the link of the GitHub library in the description. And then I'm going to set the font through the command uag2.setfont and then the name of the font. Both of the text follow the same logic in order for me to form the format of the scrolling animation. And if I was to explain one of them, then you'll understand the other. You should already be familiar with the command serial.print and serial.println. The new command here is uag2.drawString, which takes in three parameters, the x coordinate, the y coordinate, and the text in quotations. Since I want the scrolling to be in the x axis, I want the x coordinate to be a variable, which I initially set as 28. Then I utilize an if statement saying that if x underscore one is greater than or equal to 127, which is the maximum x value, then make x underscore one equal to minus 80. Just keep in mind that the zero zero origin point of the OLED display is the top left and the origin point of the text is the bottom left. Now, because during the scrolling animation, there will be a point where there's going to be two text, I will be drawing two text and hence the next variable x underscore 3. This has an initial value of minus 80, so it's moving from the coordinates of minus 80 in the x-axis up until the point where it becomes visible in the screen. Both of these if statements follow the same format for x underscore 1 and x underscore 3, saying that if any of them is less than or equal to 1 to 7, then continue adding the variable by 1. This will ensure that there is a continuous scrolling to the right side by a coordinate of 1. The same series of logic and conditions are repeated for the text where explained, however just the initial coordinates are a bit different where x underscore 2 will be 22 and x underscore 4 will be minus 90 due to the longer text. And within the if statement for both texts, I print the x coordinate in order for me to see the changes in the x coordinates. The final two commands uhg2.sendBuffer sends the information to the OLED display and serial.print allows me to distinguish between two different loops. There is also a website that speeds up the process of editing the display. It's called lopaka.app. I will have it linked in the description. To make use of the website, you want to make sure library is set to UAG2 and the display is the appropriate one. We are using the 128x32. And then on the code settings, you want to make sure that the code style is Arduino CPP and declare as program mem. The website makes use of fast things such as painting, making strings as I made, or you can make a rectangle, an eclipse, 
draw some lines or a dot, making the overall process a lot faster, utilizing all the commands without having to type them individually. Now, finally, just to see our code in action, you just want to make sure that you want to go to tools, make sure that the board and com are correct, and then you just want to upload the file. Now, one thing I believe the code lacks is organization when it comes to the X coordinate values and the print text. So if you wish to play around with this code, you can work on that. If you've benefited in any way from the video, consider giving it a like. And if you wish to join the community that I'm trying to build, my Discord will be linked in the description.